And uh, yeah, so I'll just move along and I wanted to show you how I groom her little face. So I also, I first I start off with shaving the top of her head, shaving her ears, and shaving the inside of her ear here. And then we're going to pluck her ears. Her, I don't usually pluck ears, but if the client asks me to pluck the ears, I will pluck the ears. So, can we do some plucking? Yeah, let's do plucking. So here we go. I'm going to take a 7F blade. I'm going to try to put my cords in the way. I'm going to wear my mask. I don't get any hairs in my nose and in my lungs. So I'm just going to start from the top of her visor here. And I'm going to go back. I'm not going to cut this off. Of course not. <laughs> We need this here, right? So we're going to do this here, cutting back. I had already cut some prior to recording, to starting to, to, to read, the prior having the idea to, to do this video. And then I stopped and I figured, hey, this is a cool subject here. So I stopped and I started recording for you. So I'll do her ears the top of her ears. Being sure I don't come down this way. I start from the center here and I go to the side, center to side. Because if I were to clip this way and by, oh man, seriously, using a 7F blade, if that ear leather goes into one of these slits here, this blade that's moving like this will chop that ear off. We don't want that. No nicks. So I'm always being careful to hold the ear flap, go from the center outwards, center outwards. Okay? Behind the ear, flat, not upwards because we don't want that in there. Like that. There. Okay, we did that. Now I'm going to cut them on the side of the ear here, just at the bottom. Take a little bit of that off. Just a little, being careful. Going in the direction of the ear here. Being careful. Holding that ear. Taking just a little bit off. And I'll bring it, you know, with her eyes underneath. And her the start of her, her jaw here. I'll bring that like that. Just a little bit off. And then we'll do the other side. I'm gonna put my mask back on. <laughs> so we do the front of her ear. Okay. Hope you're seeing that. Front of her ear. We're gonna go underneath. Going in the same direction with the hair, you take all of that off, all the way to her jaw here. Just a little at a time. That's good enough. Okay, take this off a moment. And to the bottom of her neck. Yeah, I haven't done that, so. This beats about right there. She's like, lady, let me go. Lady, let me go. So I'm just going to clean this up a bit. That looks not bad. Right, so next. Can we come forward a bit, honey? Yeah. I always grab them by the back of their legs to bring them forward. I don't like grabbing by the belly in general at all. Especially her, she doesn't want me to touch her belly. <laughs> she gets mad. All right, so you wanna do the ears? You wanna go into the ears? Let's do the ears. Okay, so I use some ear powder. 
and I don't quite use it the same way as most groomers use it. Usually a groomer, usually they'll put it direct in the ear. I prefer not to. I prefer to put it on the table and just dip my fingers in it. Because often if we throw too much powder down there, that could get stuck in there and it could get compacted and it could cause ear infections. So I prefer just, because this powder is just so that the, uh, the wax, the ear, the wax on the hair can, uh, you get a better grip, right? Because if you're doing it without the powder, the wax in the hair and the ear is just gonna cause your fingers to slip off the hair and you won't be able to pull any out. So I'm really pulling lightly, just a little bit at a time really just a little bit at a time. So the client asks me to really go get all of that hair. She wants really, really clean ears. So I'm going on the inside. Never grab anything around the, around the rim of the ear. Don't grab that. Put my mask back on, sorry for that. I'm getting hairs in my nose, in my mouth. So see, there wasn't that much. I see her pretty regu regularly, so there wasn't that much in there. Okay, let's try the other one. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna clean my fingers up a bit. <laughs> we don't wanna get out of here dirty, so. Dirty, but her ears are washed. I washed her ears, I cleaned them. Her, her her cut is all done. So I'm at her head right now, so. So we're just gonna take some of this hair out. It's just a little, little on the inside. I don't wanna go and yank a whole bunch out. That's like grabbing your ponytail and yanking all of your hair out, right? So. If I were to pull a few hairs off of my head, I'd be fine. But if I grab my ponytail and rip it off, that would hurt. So I'm just pulling a few hairs at a time. There. Are you good? That seems pretty clean. Yeah, that one here, there, one there. Here. So, am I annoying? Huh? Am I being annoying? All right. So I'll come in after and we'll cut around the tips of her ears and make them nice and pointy. See, her ears were clipped because usually they'll have floppy ears, right? So she had her ears cut. So I'm gonna go slowly but surely. Holding the ear uh, leather really well so that she doesn't move. Pulling the hair out, holding that leather well. Aligning my scissor to that shape here. Here I gotta feel my way through because there's the tip. I'll do the same thing on this side. No, hun, you gotta turn your head. I'm just feeling my way through because I can feel her ear leather right there. Like that, like that, and like that. There you go. So, she has a little bit on the outside here that I'm going to cut. There. There you go. There. Mama likes a really, really teen ear. just wants everything from the tip just stripped yeah that's a nice clean ear huh we'll do the other one we'll do the other one all right so pulling the hair outwards and holding I can feel where that ear leather is I just cut that out just a little at a time no need to go all the way all right same thing here Slowly but surely, 
I kind of can see through the hair and see where her ear leather is holding that tip. All right. So we want to take this off. Back. Back here, maybe a little. What's going on here? I want to pull that. That's that's too deep in, so. There, I got it. Yeah. Are those clean ears? Well, you're all good. You're all good. Look at that, huh? Look at that. All right, nice clean ears. Okay, so let's do the visor. This is where I'll come in and pull her, comb her hair front like that. Bring your head down, hon. Hold her head down. I'm coming with my scissors. And I'm going to cut all of this out coming in this way. This is how I do it. My shoulder's in the way. <laughs> all right, so I'll do it this way then. I like coming in the other way. But for the sake of this video, I'll have to do it this way because you won't see anything. There you go. Right down the middle. Huh? Right down the middle. Next. Hold on your head, hold your head down. So I'm gonna come and cut away from the eye, not towards the eye. I'll come away from the eye. I'm gonna go from the corner of the eye and I'm gonna come to this side of the nose. If I were to go to the corner of the eye and come to this side of the nose, it would just give the, um, the dog an angrier look, okay? So I just wanna soften her face uh, and um, I'm actually going to not make it very pointy. I'm going to come in this way, but I'm going to take a little bit of the point out because Mama likes to see the eyes a little more, okay? Yeah, your mommy likes better that. We go this way and we're going towards that side. Always check to see where that eye is because you don't want to catch the eye. Okay, that's one side. Let's do the other side. Her eye's here. I'm going to stand up because I won't see. There, going towards this side of the nose. Huh, hon? Just look straight forward, hon. There you go. That seems good enough. All right, so bring your nose down. Pull this forward. Usually, you'd leave a nice point there, right? But not for this one. We're softening her look. So again, this is a video about how I groom her. Remember, I groom Pets. It's not com competition grooming or anything like that. I groom pets. Family, family members, you know? Okay, so I got some of that off in the front. I'm not holding her tight here, by the way. I, I'm just like, like that. All right, so the top of the visor here needs some blending. So I'm going to slowly come in. And go from here, from the, where it's shaved, to the top of that, just to get that blend in there. And I'm going to follow the eyebrow. Just a little. It's not a lot. It's just to say that you're blending that in. See? I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm noticing when I bring her head down, see it's shorter on one side than on that side. So I'm going to come in and take a little more off. It's that side of the nose. There you go. That's better. Okay. Okay, hon. Come forward. Come forward. Okay. So I'm going to do the middle part here. You pull down the middle. Got to get more of that out. Take it all out, all of it. Come comb down and bring this up a bit, the corners here so that I can cut into the corners, into the corners. Is that okay? Not bad like that. 
whenever I'm grooming, sometimes I'll have little little scissors here and I'll come take, you know, whatever's bothering me, take that out. What's bothering me here right now is that this side seems to be a bit longer. All right, we got that done. Okay, so now I need these eyebrows to blend into the side here. So I'm going to come from here, where I shaved, to this here. That's right by the corner of her eye. And be very careful and come in and blend that in slowly into that eyebrow, very slowly. And underneath also, just lightly. See, like that. And do the same thing here. You need to blend this with this, okay? I'll take this out. It's okay, you're all good. I have to bring my arm up this way. And blend it. Hang on, little one. Hang on. Blend that in. It came pretty short on this side, so we fix it. All right. Okay. So we got that, that, and that. Next, the beard. So this is how I do her beard. I bring her beard all the way back. All the way back. You see where my thumb is? All the way back to her throat. Got my scissors here, and I cut all that extra hair off right back here then i pull it forward hang on can you turn a bit for the camera and then we need to connect this with this creating a nice rounded circle here coming in i like to make this side a little higher than the front and blend that in with your thinners. Blend that in, it's all pretty. Look at that, huh? Isn't that pretty? A little more. Like that. All right, so that's one side. You can always, oh, I'm seeing here. Well, we'll do the other side. Do the other side. We'll perfect it afterwards. <laughs> Later. So this needs some work too here, huh? See this? All that needs to come in like that. Come down. out into a point to bring this into a point just pointier that see down round up so this little lady has a few hairs up here scragglies that I just take out just a few of them There, and we are going to clean up, if she lets me, all of this hair here. So I'm put my finger underneath, under her lip, come on, under her lip. Bring my finger under, and I hold her jaw down tight. See, that tongue. <laughs> so when you have your finger there, it helps to not catch that tongue. 
It's on her teeth. My finger's on her teeth. Whoa, I'm grabbing my, my band-aid there. You okay? She's got these two curly cues here that I don't really like. They're colored. Isn't it? Strange. There. Just let go of my beard, lady. Let go of my beard. So, what you look like. There you go. So that is how almost done. <laughs> I'm noticing little parts here. So I guess that'll be fine for now. I'll just keep perfecting it till I'm 100% satisfied. It's not that bad. We're going to call her mama. So that is how I groom this little lady's face. Ashley, hey Ashley, show your face. There you go. I hope you learned something or two. Thanks for watching. Bye.